everyone, welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to adapt when you move to a new place. I have moved a lot in my life. I've moved to different states, cities, countries. Um, I've moved internationally. So I think that I'm probably a pretty good authority to speak on this subject. The very first thing is, no matter what your natural inclination is, if you want to feel like it's home and to settle in and fit in, you need to make friends. And that is not easy. Everybody there already has their life, their structure, their routine, and their existing friends. It depends on which country you're moving to because some people are more friendly than others. But you definitely have to make the effort. If you work or you have kids, that can make it easier to meet people. Um, ask people if they want to get together for, you know, dinner, lunch, a drink, whatever works outside of the normal circumstances of dropping your children off at school or seeing your co-workers at work. And pretty soon you will establish a friendship. If somebody says no or they're busy, ask somebody else. Don't be deterred. You have to be outgoing and you have to try over and over again and eventually someone will say yes and then they will introduce you to their friends and it's amazing how once the cycle starts it perpetuates itself in a positive way. Another thing you can do is go on to meetup.com. This is a great site that for, is for free if you are not starting a meetup. If you're just going to go and you can drop in on any of them. There's all different interests. There's hiking, there's dinner clubs, there's wine groups. Go online, put in your zip code and you can find all the groups that are in your area. You can narrow it down by the things that interest you and then you can meet some people that are of similar minds to the events that you're going to. Another thing you can do is check a little local flyer. A lot of newspapers, a lot of neighborhoods have little newspapers that they drop off or your local library. They frequently have a lot of different things that you can go to or events that they know about and that's another great way of meeting people. Another way is volunteering. This is great because you're also contributing and you feel good about what you're doing, whether you're donating your time at a hospital, a food shelter, an animal shelter, there are always places that are looking for volunteers and you never know who you're gonna meet there and be able to connect with. I also did a video on starting a club, so if you can't find anything that interests you, start up a club yourself. You'll have a lot of fun trying to pull together everybody and revolving around your passion of whatever it is that you wanna do. And then finally, play tourist in whatever town you've moved to. This is a new place for you. Go out and explore. Even if you don't have a friend, don't be deterred. I remember that I would go out a lot of times for coffee or for dinner and I had my book with me, which was <laughs> my foil to keep me um, comfortable while I was out. But I very quickly realized nobody cared that I was sitting alone and I now am very comfortable going out by myself. I go to museums, I go to dinner, I go to lunch and I'm extremely comfortable so it doesn't take long to get past that and you can go out and explore all those touristy things in the town that you just moved to and really enjoy it. enjoy it. Finally, I have a saying for you that might help. When you move away somewhere, the first year you're homesick, the second year you're homeless, and the third year it feels like home. So to me what that means is it's not a quick instantaneous process, give it time, it takes a while to build up friendships, to feel comfortable in a place, to make memories, to get your bearings in a place, and it will eventually feel like home. So hopefully this video was helpful to you so that you can make your new place feel like home. If anybody has any tips to share, please do so. I love hearing from you. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.